afternoon, good night. Hope everyone is sticking safe. Hopefully everyone is doing well. And uh, yeah, I'm about to sneeze. About to sneeze again. Jesus Christ, man. Boop, 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 boop. Try to get active. Do, 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 do. Smashing through doors and shit. Feel like I should not have done that because. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But uh, welcome, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone who's been following. Uh, I'm pretty much sick again, and I don't know what the fuck's going on with me. I reckon it's the brightness coming from every object in this room, because I got, like, a fucking monitor and a TV, and I got this phone that's super bright, so it's very hard to not really have that kind of thing. So if my voice has changed, it's because... I'm sick, I'm not doing well, and I goddamn hate being sick, bro, I really do, it's two days in a row, and that's why I didn't start earlier on today, because I was just really sick, so, um, if I do cough and sneeze and have watery eyes, it's probably because of that, so, but uh, hopefully everyone is having a great, great day, night, evening, morning. I can't get this tin freaking thing off real quick there. Why can I not take that off? What the frig? Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can have an hour or two streaming a bit. Be somewhat something to do, I guess. There we go. Hang on, boys. We'll be right back.
Okay, boys, what's up, what's up? Okay, sorry about that. Just I'm trying to get rid of this sickness as I can. Uh, I don't know where I'm getting it from. I don't know if I have, like, super... Super effect with the plants outside. And we can't get rid of them because it's... If we get rid of them... It, people, they're gonna, you know... The people who are the landlords of this goddamn property are going to be like, why the hell? It's it's a, it's a weird thing to really talk to get into. Because if we, we can't really get rid of the plants and the stuff in the, the street because that's the part of, I think it's the landlord or some motherfucking shit. So I don't know. But we can't, we can't cut it illegally. Or it sucks. So I don't know because I got a legit aircon right above me. And, uh, that might have affected, it might affect me in, like, a sickness type of way, so, but yeah, I just don't want to really, ah, jeez, I wish I had a mute button that I can actually mute myself, if I get, like, snottily and shit like that, it's, like, so annoying, but it is what it is. And hopefully we're going to move. And then all of that shit we're not going to deal with anymore. It's just this house was kind of the worst house we've probably... The second worst house we've ever picked. Because there's plants outside. They're giving me the most freaking allergies that I've ever had in my life. And we can't cut them because it's illegal for us to cut the tree. And so it sucks at the moment. But yeah. Um. So yeah, that's that. So I'm going to be a bit sick for this live stream, but yeah. Also, I'm very sorry if I was late today. I was uh, trying to work out Steam games, and that takes a whole day. I should have done it when I was... Uh, I should have done it when I was going through the list because I would have done a stream today and got it over and done with. But uh, I didn't think I didn't think about making a live stream today, so I decided to do it now because I did say a couple of streams ago that I was going to do an all weeker until March thirtieth. So I'm gonna have to fight through the damn power and actually live stream throughout these weeks until the end of March. So it's gonna it's gonna suck, but it is what it is. Uh, we're also going to probably 8 p.m. tonight, so I kind of want to get up early tomorrow and maybe do a stream by then too, so I think that would be great, uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it it really depends on just the area, too, because you never know. There could be, like, a whole, like, other viruses going around that I really don't know what's ha happening. You know, there could be COVID, there could be another virus, there could be another virus. You just never know. So, and hopefully not, because that, sh that kind of stuff's sh shit, in my opinion, okay? <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I just, uh, when we move, I'm not going to really proceed to putting an aircon or a cooler in the room because of, like, that possibly be the second thing what's causing the sickness of, like, the runny nose or watery eyes and shit like that, so, trust me, people do not want to watch a live streamer who's sick, okay, that's why I'm trying to talk out of my sickness so I can not be sick. I don't know if that's a thing, but, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough people on tonight, so I'm just doing a, doing an hour stream or two, so, depends on how much people join halfway through, so, uh, that will be that. And then, uh, yeah. 
crazy, crazy that we're moving in the next couple of months. It's just crazy that that's even a thing right now. Like, me moving again, it's just crazy. Never thought I'd be moving this time of month in this kind of year. Like, we're going to be leaving, I think, in the next three months. That's, like, the quickest uh, in and out we've ever done. Usually, it'll take uh, seven to eight months just to plan everything out, like a truck and moving furniture and shit, but we're doing it pretty good this time. We got rid of a lot of furniture. The Half the house is actually, uh, yeah, half the house ha is empty. Half the house is empty, and uh, we're just getting rid of a lot of things, and uh, it's pretty, it's easier, because you get rid of things, and then you got less things to put in the truck, because we want to be able to put things in the truck and just do one run of a truck ride because I think it's like 80 minutes or an hour to get back and forth each time and that's kind of annoying so what would what we will rather do would be just to you know get to sell everything quicker and then by then when we sell a lot of things like tables and chairs and units and cupboards and stuff like that uh, that we have bought already, but I think we've had it for over three years. We want to kind of get rid of a lot of furniture, and so that's what we did. And it less stresses us because we don't want to be in that position where we got to do a truck run, uh, a truck run back and forth twelve times. We just want to get everything over and done with when we do move. So yeah. Low and 44, what's up, brother? I'm going to do the reaction challenge soon. All good, brother. Take your time, do whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, the truck thing, uh, it's going to be easier this time than last. Last time, we were going back and forth with the truck. We are sitting in the truck, and you know how boring it is to sit in a truck for at least so many hours just to get back and forth, like old house, new house, old house, just to collect furniture and shit. So this time... We've got rid of a lot of furniture, and by the end of getting rid of all the furniture, we'll probably only have boxes left, and a couple of, like, bed mattresses and stuff like that, that we can chuck on the truck, and all we have to do is do it super quick, and then done. We've moved in, I can set all the gaming shit up, and then, and then it's all Gucci. Just last time, it was crazy, we're going back and forth, it was... No, nothing that I've really expected to do in my whole life. You know, moving should be an easy operation, but not when you have truckloads of furniture and boxes and stuff. So, this time we got rid of the furniture, so the only thing we'll have to really put in the truck will be the boxes and stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, I think it will be uh, pretty great. It will be really, really great that we can just get everything done into the new house. We settle in, and then I can actually start doing some more streams after that. So. But yeah, everything, what's going to happen is going to be IRL. So make sure you guys have the notifications on Twitch so you guys know when I'm live. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. And if people are wondering, I am sick. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, tonight's going to be a quick uh, night, it seems. It's like I look at the time at like, it was, what, 6.40, and now it's like 7 or 5. So tonight's going to be pretty quick, so. But we're going to go for an hour or two. Depends on the charge on my device. So that's that. Um, I'm eventually going to switch both the monitors around again, because in April I will be receiving the Xbox, uh, the white monitor is going to be on the left side now, because the white monitor, when you go on Steam, because Steam is the official site for PC games, uh, it doesn't really have anything fun in it now these days, I've been playing a lot of games from it for six years now, and nothing's new, everything's old, and I, I you know... <sighs> It's just, uh, it's kind of boring. I went through a list, like, 
40 times just to see if there was a new game or something, but it's all the same, so I don't know. I have no idea. So I kind of thought in the next week or two, I'll eventually do an IRL stream where I, uh, you know, fix this kind of table especially and just switch both the monitors around and stuff so I can actually have the Falcon in front of me and then this PC will be here so I can watch YouTube on that and then the Falcon I can also watch YouTube on that like what I used to. So uh, I'll change it now and then. So, but yeah, I'll do an IRL stream in the next couple of days or weeks, whenever I do that, so, and then I think a couple of weeks later after that, I'll do the, uh, packing up my room, where I put everything in a box, and then that will be the IRL stream, so, that will go, uh, go for a couple of hours, so yeah, long 44, I hope everything will be good for your family to focus on, and them settling and moving, bro, true, moving into, uh, yeah, it's gonna be another big operation, but I mean, as I said, it's gonna be easier this time. We're gonna get in and out. Depends. And hopefully we can get everything done by the end of 2021. So, crazy that we're already in 2021. Just imagine being in 2020 still. Holy shit. No one will, will be able to survive 2020 i think that was probably the worst year anyone's ever had so i mean god damn uh but yeah i mean it is what it is hate the fact that i gotta make streams especially when i'm sick that will eventually change if i'm sick any day i'll just won't do a stream I gotta figure out, I might actually get, they have this surgery and it's for Nauru, so it's for allergies. So I might actually get the surgery, I'm not joking. I don't care if they got to pinch a fork down my nose, I don't give a shit. I just want that motherfucker out of my nose, because it's making my allergies go terrible now these days. Hooping cough, I can deal with a cough, but just a runny nose, I can't fucking deal with that. That shit's annoying, okay? That shit is definitely annoying, but yeah. So yeah, that's that. Uh, but yeah, back with the Steam uh, games, uh, I've legit had to, you know, look back and be like, okay, some of them are okay, some games are fine, fun, stuff like that. I went back to playing some Rainbow Six Siege and all that, and the very, very old one, because it's better. Honestly, to run on a really bad computer, it can definitely still run. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Las Vegas scene, so at least that can run on this computer. And it works pretty fine. I played it today. I rage quit because you just can't hear footsteps. So I kind of just fucked it and just didn't really care about the game after. And I just exited out and just canceled the fucking thing. And then I just started watching YouTube, so... That's all I've been doing now these days, boys. It's like COVID's impact again. We're going to have another shutdown in the next couple of weeks. Kind of sucks. Uh, county strike isn't going far. It's a lot of poor competitive players have been leaving lately. Uh, Valorant's been the new thing. But as I said, I played Valorant once and I didn't really like it. I just never had a touch feeling for the game, but if it ever comes to console for Xbox, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, it's just the keyboard and peeking and all that. It's very slow. I like Warzone because it's quick. You're sliding, you're jumping, you're sniping. That shit's fun. Peeking around quarters is not fun, so... But, yeah. Uh, I want to also thank uh, last night's followers that I actually received in the morning... Uh, Radius, Sir Bago, King Grubu, Tier Mactita, One, Marker, Nine, Two, Twenty, Zerks, Kirk Smoke, Martinez, FIFA, Bellola, Edrabelo, and Ramosi, and H X Ru. They're actually all playing Fortnite. I cannot believe it. My fans have followed me 
Especially, like, all of my fans right now are playing Fortnite right now. I'm not even joking. It's, what is it? One's playing Relaxing Waves. Micro's playing Call of Duty Modern Warzone. Uh, Radius is Angry Birds. He's playing that. And then Sir Bago is Rocket League. King Grubble is Ark Survival Evolved. And then everyone from down the list is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who have followed me right now and now playing Fortnite at the exact same timing. That is actually intense that uh, they're all streaming at the same time of each other. But, I mean, I don't know how Fortnite's even fun, just to say. Like, eventually, I'm going to have to say fuck it and actually go back and see what it's like, but... Not for a while. I think the new season, what came out on Fortnite, is just everyone's left. Everyone's not going live as much because of the new Fortnite season. Uh, it's kind of ruined Fortnite. So uh, I'm definitely telling you, chat, that I'm not going back until a couple of seasons later when they refix Fortnite and where, where it took place. Season 1, Chapter 1. That's the best Fortnite that will ever be in the history charts of Fortnite, you know? So, I'd love to come back at the right timing when they have fucking volcanoes and dinosaurs and shotguns what are so epic and pistols and gravity guns and cars what drive like rockets and shit. That's the stuff that they need to add. But yeah. I thought I had the sneeze. Uh, but yeah, it is actually crazy. Uh, I actually did get a text message from YouTube that they've made the new update for people who lost subscribers. Sorry, I had a lot of uh, spit in my mouth. I should re-say that. Uh, Fortnite had a new... Uh, uh, not Fortnite. Fucking YouTube had a new update. And they added a couple of new features for the for YouTube to, you know, have a couple of updates. Uh, it looks like that YouTube... I don't know what the updates are, but the people who lost subscribers through, from the update, you don't receive it back, so... It kind of sucks. That's why I kind of left YouTube already. Not fully. I'm still uploading, but I'm not uploading as much. Just whenever I have the opportunity to upload would probably be my days off. I will then download a Twitch stream that I've done. And then I'll upload it to YouTube. So, yeah. And Tony, you're 21. Looking for the floor, my dude. Jeez, I'm too sick, motherfucker. Shit. I'm going to have to make it as uh, today's title just chatting by the way sick lol i'm about to rare covid mask or some shit i don't know but uh, yeah it is what it is but yeah i actually didn't expect going live tonight i thought oh, i'll take a day off but Jinx to me, I fucking said, what, two streams ago, like, I think Monday, last week, I said, yo, I'm gonna be streaming until the end of March, so that's a promise that I have to keep with you guys, so I gotta stream until March 30th, 31th or 30th? Let me see. Yeah, 31th, and that's a Wednesday, so I gotta stream until that day, and then I can take a break. I probably need a week off just to recap, like, re, you know figure myself where I'm at, so, yeah, uh, my charge is actually, or it was 124 minutes ago, and now it's 82%, so we're only going to be able to do a one-hour stream tonight, tomorrow we'll do an hour stream, and then we'll keep going throughout the next day, so, I think tomorrow I'll start the stream at, like, actually, I don't know when, because I don't know when the boys are going to be calling me, so, I'm going to have to figure that out, too. Because uh, the boys call me at the wrong timing. Like, they'll call me at, like, 3 or 4 or 5. When I'm in the middle of the stream. So. And then I'll be like, oh, shit, you called me at the wrong timing, you know. So, 
So yeah. Uh, you know it. It is. It's okay. You know that they call me and stuff. It's all good. But I mean, when I'm in the middle of the stream, I can't be calling. You know, because that's kind of hard to call, talk at the same time. Because if you call someone in the middle of the stream, then your stream's going to be longer than you expected. So, don't recommend calling a friend while you're live streaming. That's facts. Um, but yeah. Uh, so that, yeah, I mean, today I was just going through, uh, Steam, and it, it's just, it's the same old, same old, just nothing new than that, I was like, you know what, thank god I didn't go over the computer, because all the games on it are just ridiculously stupid, because they're all the same games from, like, last couple of years that are still on Steam, and they don't go anywhere, like, the developers just make a game, and just never come back to it, it's so stupid that developers do that, they make a game, and then they leave it, and then they go somewhere else, and then they never come back to that game, and be able to update it and make it fun, it's just crazy the fact that all the games I play, every developer has left the company, and just let the game sitting there, and so that money doesn't actually go to them, it goes to the employees, so, just crazy how gaming industry works, it's like me building PUBG for the first time, and I'm putting all this stuff to it, to the game, and then I did, and then I created it, I published it, and then I announced it, and then it's out, and then I, and then I release it, people download it, and then I back off, and just never touch it, Never do any updates, never do this and that, and that's what kind of sucks with video games. But I'm not meaning uh, PUBG in general. There's other games out there like H1Z1. There's updates only for skins and packs and bundle packs and stuff for the guns and shit. But a lot of people don't really care about that anymore. After five years, people have just, you know, changed H1 to, you know... Something else. I, I remember playing H1. It was fun for a while, and then it got kind of boring, and then I just decided to say fuck it, and I just left. And then that's when I took an approach and went to Fortnite. I think Fortnite, it's a bad game and all, but it's very good with the updates. It keeps you up to date with everything. Other games don't, because I know those developers don't really care about the game they made, and they back off, and they go on a holiday or something, and it's like, Oh, who cares about that game? We'll make a new game. So, yeah. Uh, even when I don't get notified about your streams, that's how I call you when you don't know when you're live. Oh, true, true. If I'm, like, not live or anything, that's okay. You can call me. But if I'm live, I don't really recommend calling me because uh, I think that's when my internet actually cuts out is when someone calls me. I think that was kind of weird that my phone does that, but, uh, yeah, but so good if, you know, you know, you guys tell me what day to call and stuff like that, or a date or anything, I can go like, okay, well, he wants to call me on that day, I'll just take a break from streaming on that day, and I'll call you guys, you know, that's pretty good, <laughs> nothing bad with that, but yeah, but I like my notification thing doesn't show when you're live, um, Okay, well that's... Huh. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, if you're followed, there should be something... Uh, I wouldn't really care about the notification thing. You just see whenever I'm live. I honestly, personally, don't know. Because I'm not really using Twitch for mobile. Like, I am for the webcam. But that's all. I don't have Twitch on my phone where I, like, scroll down and see Twitch streams... I just uh, I have it on my computer because it's way easier, and uh, it works pretty good. So, uh, just find a video or, or or a tutorial about that, about how to put notifications on this channel or this channel. It's kind of, yeah, just use tutorial on YouTube or something like that. Except for Twitch, I get notified on that, but not YouTube for some reason. Yeah, sure. I would say that... With it being Twitch, they notify you with certain little topics, and that's good. With it being YouTube, it's just an older 
website that's been out for so long and they don't really do the notifications like what they used to because back in the day you'd get notified pretty good now these days it's 2021 and this website's been out for as long as it can so it's expanded the more it, it the more it expands throughout the years the more it will just get shittier shittier and shittier and shittier and then you quit that and then you go to the newer app like i will tell you this right now in the next 20 years from now they're gonna make another youtube app where you go to it and you can watch videos and live streams exactly like youtube but better so you can stream gameplay easier you can stream yourself just chatting i see that in the next 20 years like look at tiktok we didn't expect that app to come out and that just published and everyone was like what the fuck like we didn't expect tiktok to come out and look tiktok's been out for i don't know how long but everyone is pretty much addicted to it I watch more TikTok than I do on YouTube now these days. And my YouTube watch time is over 100 hours. On TikTok, I've had over 100 hours. So it's pretty, yeah. I don't actually mean to call you when you're live sometimes. No, it's all good. It's like sometimes you don't know I'm live. But if it's like that kind of thing where you're like, oh, I want to call Anthony. Just make sure you go to Twitch first check if I'm live, and if I'm not live, you can call me, but if I am live, I probably won't suggest calling, so that's that. But it's all good, all good. I know in the, in the future of what I, you know, sometimes I'll pick up, sometimes I probably won't, if I'm like hanging out with the fam or outside or something like that, I won't really call, but yeah. Now, these days, we won't be calling as much because you guys got school. Uh, you want Benny Boy, so. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been checking Twitch more often. I don't know why, but it's. But it's the best streaming app ever. Yeah, Twitch is actually number one streaming app in the whole world. And I do recommend it. Um, I do recommend Twitch. If you are a YouTuber who's not really gaining enough subs. And you're trying to work out so many videos and put them in order and still trying to... I think it's the the bad way to go because I've been on YouTube for 8 years and I still have 900 subs. Uh, but if you don't have the glitches like what I have, you could go over 900. But with YouTube, there's updates now. These They're like sneaky little updates that you don't know. And... They could update YouTube and take 20 subs away. You could take, They could take 100 away. And it's ridiculous that they do that. They do that to get more money. And it's just, it's it's very appalling and it's very, very rude. But yeah, I, I suggest going to Twitch and just have YouTube as a backup or something. I think if you're trying to get subs and stuff, I think Twitch is the best way to go. I think you start live streaming on Twitch, watch a tutorial on YouTube on how to do it. You can just do a live stream off your phone. Completely honest with you, you could do a live stream on your computer, your phone. You don't even need a PC setup to be able to do a stream on Twitch. You just need to use a phone, a device, or a computer, or a console, whatever one you're using. And, um... Just, you know, you just keep using it. And that's how you will, uh... That's how you will get interacted and get noticed. Because Twitch is somewhat better than YouTube for getting followers. I mean, I'm already up to six, uh, 660 followers already. I'm about to hit 700 in the next week or two. It's crazy. I'm getting more followers than I do on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok, you know? But yeah, if you want to have Twitch, I suggest you to go to Twitch. It's way better. It works perfectly. It works smoother. The quality doesn't go to 1080. The quality can go up to tw uh, 20... 80 ping, so it's even higher. It's like 4K resolution. It's pretty sick. But yeah, I focus on your family, bro. More, bro. Yeah, true, true. Not really now, cause like they're all doing their own thing, so I just let them do whatever. 
sisters do their own thing, parents do their own thing, and I just keep out of that because if I wasn't if I was doing anything with them, it would just start drama in the family. So I just I keep it low profile and just do my thing by myself. So yeah. I'll do streaming on Twitch and I'll upload vids on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly fine. And I feel like that's the best way to really go because Twitch is best for uh, for streaming and YouTube is good for videos, edited videos. So, I mean, it's it works either way. Ismail11 donated one. <laughs> That's fake, okay. I know that. Okay, chat. You guys can't trick me. I've seen a lot of videos on the internet where people say in the chat that they donated one one dollar or one cent. In our real boys, okay. <laughs> but I appreciate it. If that was anyone else, they would probably... If it was anyone else besides me, they would probably... They would look at it and be like, oh my god, I got a donation, but with me, you can't trick me, chat, okay, I got you, bud, that donation is not real, okay, and I know, I know how that's re not real, because if I had donations on, it would have popped up on the screen, but I don't have donations on, so it's fake, but I appreciate the joke and the prank, my dude, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, another thing I wanted to talk about, GTA, and I didn't know if I was going to talk about the subject or not, so, and I feel very, very sad that I left everyone, I mean, everyone, after I left, because we have a server on PS4, now this is for cross, uh, cross play platform, so I can do whatever, so I can be on an Xbox, they can be on a, a PS4, um, just all the boys are all doing... Like, we're in an RP server, right? Where it's like, no one kills each other. It's like a server where people join, and it's like RP. It's like real life. But not killing each other, doing all this dumb shit, not blowing each other up. It's like an actual real life. But in the video games, so RP, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you don't know what that what I mean, it's where you are you make a character, and you got to make the game like real life. Somehow. And when I was in the server for a week or two, I, I met Goddess, Ozzy, uh, Luke actually showed me around the city. Ben also di uh, Ben also uh, showed me around the city, but Ben apparently doesn't do the RP servers anymore. He left because it was too technical. Um, I'll be right back. All good, low on 44 lock. All good, my bro. Uh, but yeah, with... Uh, Benny Boy, Dr. Ninja Ghost Rider, he did RP for a week or two, and it was too technical with him. He, he didn't know what he was doing, so he ended up leaving. Uh, but with me, Goddess, Ozzy, Nick, uh, Whitehammer, it was fucking fun, my dude. I remember the days we're robbing banks, cops are after us, the sickest shit. So I'm actually going to be returning. I'm going to one day... Listen, chat. This is going to be funny. Okay. These boys. I know where the hideouts are. It's near... Uh, where is it? Benny's. Now, Benny's is a workshop in Los Santos. What's in GDA. And that's where Luke, Nick, Whitehammer, Goddess, and Ozzy. They all hang out there. Every time. So. I'm going to get a Mustang. A black jet... A jet black Mustang. Um, I'm going to roll up, and they're going to be so fucking happy that I'm back. I'm going to make them fucking happy, bro. They're going to be like, oh shit, the fuse is back. What the fuck? Yo, what up, bro? How are you? And I'll be like, yo, what up? They weren't expected. They'll be so happy, and I can't wait. But uh, hopefully they don't see the stream. Hopefully they don't see the stream. Because if they do, they'll, be, they'll look back at it and be like, oh, well, he's returning to GDA RP. We didn't expect this shit. So it's going to be good. It is going to be good. I'm going to roll up one day to Benny's workshop. I'm going to just drive up to the thing. I'm going to be like, I'm going to have like, I'm going to be like, yo, what up, boys? And they're all going to freak the fuck out. They're all going to be, holy shit, the fuse is back. Holy shit, he's back. Because the boys loved when I played GDA, bro. That's what kept the movement of the RP servers to keep rolling because I was there to motivate a lot of other players in the server. 
So right now it's it's just quiet. Nothing's happening to the RP servers. I think there's a couple of cops in the server what I'm dealing with troubles with all these other uh, new players who have joined the RP sessions and all that. And I think it's really cool. I think it's going to be really cool. I'll I'll join back. I'll join back with the boys. They're clan and everything. It'll be good. The boys are going to be like, holy shit, the fuse is back. Can't wait. So, there might be a trailer. There might be something on YouTube that I might release about this, but I don't know when. For now, I'm just going to stick with Warzone and Daisy and all that and Halo and possibly Doom, so... Play a couple of games with uh, uh, Demon Slayer Sim, because at the moment he's really fiddling ar fiddling around with these games. He's like, we gotta play this and that, and I'm like, shit. He's giving me a bunch of list ideas for streams, so it'll be good. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll roll up and I'm back in the clan. The boys will be holy shit. They'll be jumping out of their chairs, being like, holy fuck, he's back. GGX motherfucker is back in the town. He's back in Los Santos. RP server. So, hey, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, eventually, when that happens, everyone is going to be happy. But, yeah. Hopefully, things come along. The only thing is the new member out of their clan is Mighty G. But, as you know, me and Mighty G already apologized. We went... Uh, both ways, and we just we just went and split up, and we did our own things. So if seeing him there, we can recreate the friendship that we had. We can go back, actually have some fun time RPing on the server. So it's gonna be good. Apparently, one of the dudes out of the team actually left because he was playing some. Uh, I don't know what he was playing, but he was addicted to one of these games, and he wasn't really in the RP server anymore after I left. A lot of the other boys split up. I think uh, the heist, the missions and stuff, the boys are still doing. So that's good to see. Um, but yeah, I think there's just random little things that uh, that's going to be happening. I'm going to do the original RP that I used to do. But way better. So you guys can't wait for that. It's going to be fun. And yeah. Yeah, sick. Anywhere. <clears throat> it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen in RP. So, at the moment, it's very quiet. A lot of the boys aren't really doing live streams because they know it's boring. And they just don't know what to do with it. So, eventually when I join, I can re populate that area and make all the boys get to where they were before. Drug deals, heist, missions, stuff like that. It'd be good. Robbing casino well robbing the casino and doing all this other stuff. So it'd be good that we can get back to that uh to that role again, that kind of role play again. So it'd be kinda of sick. But uh yeah. For the time being I just do just chatting until I get the Xbox, and then when I get the Xbox, we'll do Daisy or Warzone, so. So, uh, that's that. But yeah, the end of the, uh, end of the month, I'm going to, uh, take a break a bit from live streaming. I need to get my allergies out of the fucking way, and just tr keep trying to be healthy with all that, because it's not really going well. And, uh, it's pretty tough to keep everything up to date. I mean, I'm trying to keep up to date with YouTube still. It's like, motherfucker, I thought you were already done YouTube. But no, I'm not. I'm still up learning. I'll still be on YouTube for those reasons. But, uh, but yeah, those videos, uh, well, no, I shouldn't say videos, but those live streams, I'm going to download them and upload all the live streams when I've happened this week. Uh, those live stream videos will actually get uploaded tonight. So, uh, hopefully you guys are on the good old YouTube. See all the highlights of the live streams. I actually had to delete the shorter live streams because it just didn't feel right. 
it didn't feel right uh, for me to really keep those little four minute, two minute, vid minute videos. So yeah, and the the following one I actually deleted, but I've remade the video, but for YouTube. So if I thank Twitch for something, check out the YouTube or subscribe to it. Post notifications on so you never miss a video on that. So yeah. But, uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any uh, other games out there that I'm going to be really interested in. I think Daisy and Warzone are probably going to be the second favorite top one games to play. Halo especially. So we'll do that. Uh, I'm just waiting for a for the moving part. I'm just waiting for a massive box so I can be able to pack all this shit up. And just trying to survive these couple of months in this house. And then when we move, we can finally escape the allergies, sickness, shit. So, yeah. Um, with the Call of Duty, the Cold War, I'm not really watching. I think Cold War is not in the stage where it is. It's not really the type of game I would play. So... I mean, they have Stage 2, Week 1, Toronto Ultra, Thieves vs. Ultra, so... I mean, it's very interesting to see what will happen in the tournament, but... Uh, I'm always putting my heart out to Thieves, man, 100 Thieves. Like, I'm, I would pick any team over 100 Thieves. I, th I think my second team would be Cloud9, but... As I said, I'm not in Counter-Strike anymore, so I'm not really a big fan of it anymore like what I used to... Uh, even me doing the training behind the scenes, I was fucking good at it. I was headshotting people, AWP I was using, snipers and all that shit. I was doing the coolest shit ever, but then uh, they said, Hey, listen, you can't really do that because you don't have enough money, blah, blah, blah. Stupid like management and doing all these manager deals and shit. It would just never cross my mind ever again to ever go that path. But I think I'll stick with the Call of Duty Warzone path and just keep up with that or anything else, you know, if I was to start my own, like, merch, that will never happen, because I know merch, you need employees, management, people, this, that, and it's just crazy, man, I mean, if I was to design my own hats, I mean, that's fine, that's something else different, but with it being anything to do with having gaming companies and teams and corporate teams, it's, it's not going to work for me. I mean, I see a lot of kids now these days, and they're already in the companies and stuff that they always dreamed about. I dreamed about it for probably a year or two, and I just, I just didn't really phase it anymore. And I just said to, a, I just said to that dream, I was like, you know what? Fuck the company and all this other stuff, employees and all that. I know we had trailers, and I know we had this and that cool things that everyone was waiting for, and I deleted a couple of trailers. But I mean, it, there's nothing to it, but. Probably took uh, advantage, the advantage of escaping that kind of, that gaming realm where it's the Cloud9 and Counter-Strike and all that, that I just had to get rid of. I thought about it and I was like, I was playing Counter-Strike Source and then I was playing Counter-Strike this and that, the old one to the second, to the third, the fourth, and... I'm just playing it for a week, non-stop, and then out of nowhere, I'm just like, this is now getting at the point that it's getting boring, and that's why a lot of people now these, do now these days don't play County Strike, they all play Valorant. Competitive pro players from County Strike would leave just to go to Valorant, because Valorant has the magical powers, like freaking League of Legends type game, that they can just swing around and do this weird shit, so, weird Harry Potter, or fucking, I don't know, what, what, what would you call it, you know, with being Valorant, it's, a, it's got a lot of magic in it, and it's very confusing, the first day I played it, I was playing it for probably 10 hours, and I was already done with it, I was like, this is just, is terrible, it wasn't even, it was like, uh, what, what would you call it, it's like, uh, It just felt very different. Valorant, with the aim 
lock and punch and aim assist, it's very different to a lot of shooter games. It's like very... It's, it, it lets you to do whatever you want. The being Counter-Strike, you got to lean and peek, and it's got the same thing with Valorant, but you could be shooting... There's so much things with Valorant, man. You could shoot through walls because of these abilities, these potions, these respawn. Uh, you could... There's so many things. First day I played it, 10 hours, didn't like it, deleted it, got rid of it, and just... Yeah, it just wasn't my type of game to be very slow. Because I know most gamers, when they're near a keyboard and mouse, they they want to be quick. They want to be quick as hell. When you're playing Valorant, it's very slow. You gotta sit in a corner for six to seven minutes, wait for a guy to go past and shoot you, and then you're like, well, I just wasted six minutes playing this fucking game of me just standing in a corner, and this guy shoots me, and I've been standing there the whole time, peeking that corner. It's like, that's kind of a waste of time. I'd rather play Warzone, where you can actually fill the fucking game and actually enjoy it. C4, fucking missiles, Type of guns, loadouts, things that you can change, scopes, and all that. I think Warzone, in my prime, is number one. Second would be Halo. Third would be uh, DayZ for survival. So, I think DayZ is actually one of the most common games that I would pick for number one for a survival game would be DayZ. Nothing else. But, yeah. Crazy the fact that people pick day other games over DayZ. It's crazy. I think DayZ, it's in its prime. I think it's a very good game. Better than Scum. It's very it's very good than most other adventurous games. I think in short term, of the sentence of it being, DayZ has a better realistic look than Armor 3 Days and Scum, the survival game. I think DayZ works better than any of those realistic games What a survival. If it's the kind of 3D but 4K cartoonish look like Sea of Thieves, that would be my second choice to pick. A pirate game that no one has adventured ever in the existence. People would go to Sea of Thieves and be like, holy shit, this is better than half or the whole entire survival list of any survival game. Because I know Sea of Thieves and DayZ are both on the top because people love those two games as survival, adventurous, and it's just fun. It really is. If it's a gun game, in my opinion, Halo is going to be number one, and then definitely Warzone second, and then a couple of other Call of Duties with that. So I think, uh, you know, eventually... That's gonna stay. But yeah. Uh, Mark W23 ever fired a real gun? No, I don't. Where I live, uh, you can't fire guns. I don't think I've ever fired a gun, have I? No, but. Uh, wait, have I ever fired a gun? I'm trying to think. I don't know if I was younger or not, if I had a gun, but. To me, thinking about it, I no. I probably the answer is probably going to be no. I've never fired a gun in real life. Going to be somewhat hard in real life because you know laser tag doesn't count. Yeah, laser tag, hell, ain't, that ain't a thing. You got to be in a shooting range for the full experience. You need the shooting range, the real mags, the guns, the tacks, the scopes, everything. So, laser tag. I, I wouldn't even rec I, like laser tag isn't anywhere near of being a real gun. It like it feels like you're holding a gun, but it's not even like anything to do with a real gun or anything. Like you know, you go to a, a a firing range. That's the real deal. You know, or even going in the woods and going hunting. You got a proper hunting rifle or a Car 98 or something in your hand with a a, a scope. That's full experience. You know. Doing laser tags like a, it's kind of like a baby basic game, you know. Laser tag, like yeah, it's a fun activity for f like other friends to do, like a fun activity. But if you're doing it for real and you want to hold a real armored weapon in your hand, suggest going to a firing range. What's close? I think I do have a firing range somewhere around where I live, hunting illegally, 
uh, illegal where you are. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, where I'm, where I am, is uh, south side of Australia. The only part of Australia that you can fire an actual weapon would be Darwin, because that's like Texas out there, but it's different. It has like a lot of cacti, it has a lot of trees, and the and the goddamn sand is orange, so it's a bit different than Texas. Texas with more cactus than more trees. So, um, but yeah, where I live, you can't fire weapons, you can't be doing any of that, so, we, the most common thing that a lot of people have for safety would be a Joe Blast gun, but I mean, that's not a real gun, that's like a couple of BB guns or something like that, so, that's what most people have in Australia, is Joe Blaster guns, because that's more of a protective thing, if someone came in your house with an actual gun, you can just fire a job blast and it will hurt them and then they'll run out. It won't kill them, but it depends on what kind of bullets you buy. So, yeah. But, yeah, where I live, you can't really hunt. But if you're in Darwin, uh, you can. So, what the fuck is your accent? I love it, bro. I mean, I... Listen, if I was in... A lot of people, when they come to my Twitch, they actually think I'm American, but I live in Australia, so that's kind of, it's kind of weird, so, maybe it's just how I grew up or something, I, I, I don't know, it's very, kind of very weird, because I've had someone come in my chat yesterday, and they're like, you speak American, and I'm like, oh shit, well oh, thank you, <laughs> but yeah, but if people have not gone to a firing range and they actually want to handle the gun in person, definitely try out a firing range. Make sure you have a, the best coach to show you. Um, I wouldn't trust a firing range on the side of the road because that could end up pretty bad. A lot of those other firing ranges out there that aren't classified as a real, you know, they kind of get in trouble for doing that. And a lot of people get arrested for it, but... You go to a legit firing range, go right ahead. It's pretty cool. I've never been there, but I've seen a lot of people, uh, you know, go in. It's like, it's, you know, you've got the targets, you've got the guns and everything like that. So, yeah. Born and bred Australian. There was some American in there, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. But yeah. That's, uh, that's that. But yeah, eventually we'll, uh, you know, have a lot of fun when we get this Xbox, because right now I'm just, I have a computer, slash, Falcon TV, what's classified as a, a monitor too, that you can hook a computer to, so, that's that. And then we'll get the Xbox, and we can do some some good streaming, me playing Warzone or Lazy or something, you know? So, but yeah, uh, 55, okay. I'm getting a lot of messages, what the hell? Um, if Gucci Gaming comes in my live stream, I actually host him. When, uh, you know, I sound more Australian than you are, uh, than you, and I'm British? Damn. That's, that's something. You could be having, uh, I don't know how many, uh, things that people can have, like, what kind of blood they are, like Irish or China or something like that, um... I don't know how many you can have. Uh, I don't know. What's the word for it? I'm trying to think. It's like... Uh, I'm trying to think. Something to do with, like, accents and stuff like that. It depends on, like, you know, your blood. On, like, where you've came... Like, you know. If I came from Australia or an American, I'd probably sound Asian or China or Texas... Or anything like that, so. It's 
Something like that, you know? Crazy. I mean, one of my friends, he's part... Uh, I think China or Asia, but he was born in Australia, so... It's just that kind of thing that everyone has, differently. But that's pretty cool that, you know... Some people sound like other things that they weren't even born in, so... Pretty crazy. It could be where if it was like the historic of your family or something, like the history of your family, you might have one relative in your family back then who was in that country and was born there, but then... Yeah, it's hard to explain, but yeah. Anyway, moving on, because that's... Yeah. I'm confu I'm confusing myself out. Part China? Oh, nice. Bro, since COVID has been around, I haven't gone to get sushi, Chinese food, and that shit was good. I'm telling you right now, sushi from China or anything like that, are good. I miss it. I used to get a tray, and there would be, this is when I was at the old house, and I had a tray, and I had a lot of, like, really good, like, I think it was rice, chicken, lettuce, mayo, you know, sauces and stuff like that, so that was good. Ever since we left that area at the old house, we came to this house, and I wasn't able to get it back. So, sushi is Japan, uh, Japanese bro. Oh, shit, okay. Well, I've been saying that the, uh, wrong the whole time. God damn, I feel stupid for me to say that. God damn. This is why I dropped out of school, boys. Okay, complete honest with you. But yeah, Japanese sushi. It's good. Very good. I feel like a complete doofus because I've said China the whole time <laughs> with sushi and food. Hopefully they have good food too, you know. Uh, we're going to be ending the stream in a minute because it is getting late where I am. So I kind of want to do a couple of things tonight. I actually got to do editing for the videos that happened last week. I got to, you know... But yeah, 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 you gotta get your Asian right, Asians right. <laughs> That's damn true. That's facts. That's damn facts. I wanna see if, uh. But yeah. Oh, did he just run offline? I was gonna host my dude if it was to ever go live. Uh, if anyone's, uh, live streaming in a minute while I end my live stream. Uh, if you want me to host you or raid you or something like that, I can. But yeah, good chatting with you, bro. Yeah, you too, man. Hopefully you have a good day, night, rest of your day, evening. Hopefully you have a good one. Be safe out there, Mark. It was a good chat, my brother. From another mother, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, But yeah, I just... Uh, with the packing stream, I mean, because I'm moving again, so I got a, it's been like three years since the last time I moved, so I don't really mind that I move again, I mean, it's been three years now since the last time I moved, and uh, we're moving again in the next couple of months, so I'm just waiting to get a bigger box, so I, like a big packing uh, wood box that I can actually put all my stuff in. And just use one box and just, you know. So I'll do a stream in the next couple of weeks. We might do that stream. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it sometime in March. But I don't know when I'm getting this packing box. So hopefully I get it before April. Because I want to be able to get this stream out of the way. So. And also have an IRL stream. Uh. With a couple of little certain things, so it'd be pretty good. Might do a stream. I might do a a stream. Actually, I, I won't say that because if I do, I'm gonna jinx it, and then I won't do it. And then uh, you guys will be like, "Oh, you should do this and that." So I'll be like, "Ah, shit, you know." So uh, and the stream at eight, as I said, guys. Yes, so. Appreciate everyone who's you came came along and actually joined and say hello. Uh, my sickness is actually gone, 
thank God, ever since I had that aircon on, it's actually stopped my sickness for some reason. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to have to figure something out because I don't know what's good and what's bad. I just, I don't know anymore. So I'm going to eventually do a little experiment on the last couple of days I live here and I'll uh, see if that aircon makes me have allergies or if it's outside. I'm going to do a little test where I sit outside for a bit, see if I get sick. And then I'll sit in here, have that off, see if I get sick. If I don't, I'll turn it on. And if I feel good after that, I'll figure it out. But I'll figure that out. It's not going to be a stream. It's not going to be anything like IRL time. But just I'm going to figure that out one day because I get allergies and sickness pretty quick. So that's that. Um, but this is going to be my last stream really talking about the County Strike of Valorant. Uh, and the Fortnite, maybe the Fortnite a little bit more, a little bit about Fortnite. Yeah, we'll talk about Fortnite in the next couple of weeks or days or something like that. But uh, I might raid or have someone that I can raid tonight. So you guys can go and check out whoever I raid tonight. Maybe not, I don't know. But if any of the boys were on, I mean, today, tonight would be a very good night to stream. I mean, it's a Saturday, 7.56 p.m. It's not a bad time to stream. I've streamed for probably three hours now. Uh, the time limit on these streams are pretty slow, so just to let you guys know, okay? They are crazy, crazy. I think my Twitch is actually... Uh, okay. But yeah, I just, uh, I enjoy doing these just chatting streams, so I get used to what's around me and who the chat are and who you guys are, and just, you know. I think I'm actually getting allergies because of my beard, my mustache and my beard. It's tickling. It's like, maybe it's a thing where when I'm growing a mustache, it, t like, my mustache will tickle, because that's what a beard and a mustache does. It tickles and I might be getting sick by that. Because the hairs right here are getting really fucking long. I ain't jerking. This shit right here is getting pretty long. I might have to shave it. I'm not jerking. I think having a beard is just... It ain't gonna work out for a while. I'm gonna have to wait until I'm a 50... Maybe an older fuck... Like an older dude getting a beard, you know? You just feel like a different character with a beard on, you know? Having one in my sound, just for myself, I probably won't have a beard or whatever, but... I mean, when I'm, a, when I'm fucking old, I wouldn't really care anyway. I wouldn't even care if I had wrinkles or... I don't give a shit, man. I wouldn't even care if I had wrinkles and being looking like an old fucking man. I would care about being the god at everything. In any gaming history, I'd rather look the way I am now, in the next 50 to 60 years later, and be a still be a god at video games. That's all that matters, you know? <laughs> Doesn't matter about my looks and shit. I could play the game and be a fucking god like what I did back in Warzone. That sh those days were fun. Just sitting and playing Warzone and... Pretty, pretty, pretty crazy on how that turned out. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter about the looks. You could still look ugly and still play fucking video games and look good doing it, you know? Motivate yourself. Look look at yourself in the mirror and be like, Damn, I'm gonna kill some people today in this goddamn video game. That's for damn sure, you know? Um, but yeah, I also want to join PUBG again. And actually stream some PUBG again. So I want to be able to do that. When I get the Xbox, there's going to be a ton of games that we'll play, so I'll talk about that next week. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, we'll do a stream tomorrow. Uh, depends, because the boys are going to call me tomorrow. So maybe after I call them, or maybe I will do it early in the morning. It depends on when I wake up, because I've been waking up too fucking late. Today I wake up at like 1pm. I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm going to have to get back into a bedtime because my hours are very, it's like, 
the hours I sleep are good, but when I wake up, it's terrible. Because when I wake up, I feel like shit. I'm not joking. I feel dizzy, and I'm like, D -d -d and then that's why I can't get up and do an early stream, because I'm just too dizzy to be able to do one. So, I will eventually change that and actually have a bedtime. I'll make it that I'll have a kind of a bedtime that I can work with, and I'll do it. Wake up early as possible, and I kind of want to do that for the rest of my life. Just have early nights, do a stream until probably 1 in the uh, one p.m., to 8 p.m., and then I get offline around 9, I end the stream, and I just chill out, watch a movie or two, and then jump in bed, and that's pretty much, that's probably what I'm going to do, so it ain't, it ain't bad, you know, I mean, last year, it was crazy, I was doing streams until I felt tired, and then I'd sleep, and this would be in the middle of the night, and it was way too late, and I felt shit, I ain't joking, I felt bad, me staying up overnight just to play this one game, so, in the future, that will change, so, that will happen, um, but yeah, crazy, crazy that we're in March, and it's about to be April, I can't wait, uh, my birthday is coming up, so I'll do a birthday stream, me just sitting and eating my cake in front of you guys, maybe not, maybe, I don't know, so we'll just figure it out, or maybe I'll spend time with the fam, on my birthday, so, so yeah, I might do that, I don't know, I'll just let you guys know, and, uh, it should be all Gucci, um, but yeah, a lot of things are coming this way, and I'm actually so lucky to start Twitch this year, I'm only 16, you know, I still got so many years later. Thank God I started Twitch now. If I didn't start it by until next year, I wouldn't have the followers I would. Because people would look at the streams and be like, this is boring. So me getting the, the followers is good. We've lost a couple a, a couple of followers. We lost a couple. What I mean is, it's not too bad. It's not like losing 100 or something subs. I mean, in the future it will happen. But I mean, I wouldn't really care how much followers I will have anyway, because I'll probably be over a thousand, so, but yeah, anyway boys, because it's over 8 p.m., I want to be able to do a couple of things, edit and upload those videos, tomorrow we'll be back at 1 or 2 or 3 p.m., if the boys call me, it's probably going to be more than that, I'll just have latest note on YouTube, on the community post, to let you guys know when I'm going to be live, uh, I don't usually do that, but I kind of want to get into that, uh, so yeah, anyway boys, I appreciate you guys, thank everyone who came to the stream, I'll be back again tomorrow with the new stream, depends on whatever the fuck time, it, you know, I'm not going to say 1pm or 2pm, because I might, I won't, I won't probably be on by them, so, I just do streams whenever you guys get notified, and if you don't get notified, try to watch a video on YouTube, how to do a tutorial on how to follow and do all that following stuff, if you're new to Twitch, I appreciate all the followers, I appreciate everyone who came to the stream, Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back again here tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, boys, have a wonderful night, morning, evening, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, chat. Have a good one.